We have traveled far since joining Aang on his journey as the Avatar, and have fought many battles. We have met many people, some friends, and some enemies. Under my tutelage, Aang has learned to waterbend. And although he lacks discipline, his skill is already great. But before he is ready to face the Fire Lord, Aang must master the remaining elements of Earth, then Fire. And so, we find ourselves once again flying toward the Great Earth Kingdom, in the hope that Aang can find a Master Earthbender to teach him. Winter's over. Appa won't get so many colds. <laughs> now there must be someone. I am General Fong, leader of this Earth Nation base. We've been expecting you, Avatar Aang. This is not a very warm reception. It is not without reason. Guards, increase your numbers. Do it, Avatar Aang. Call forth the Avatar State. You can end this war. I can only do it when there's real danger to myself or my friends. I thought as much. Well, let's see if I can put you in real danger myself. I'm sorry. That was dangerous. But perfect! Now, if we could just... Oh! Anyone here got a problem with that? Do you still want an escort to Omashu? Actually, I think we'll manage okay. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Omashu again. We're almost there! Friends, I present to you the Earth Kingdom City of all... Oh, no. This is horrible, but we can't risk being captured. We have to move on. There must be someone else besides Boomy who can teach you earthbending, Aang. This isn't about finding a teacher anymore. My friend needs my help. Besides, I know a secret way into the city. Yip, yip! A secret passage? Why didn't we use this last time? Ah! Ah! They won't let go! Get them off! <laughs> it looks like you have chicken pox. <laughs> Don't you mean pentapox? Okay, I have to find somewhere to hide Appa. I'll catch up with you two inside the city. Be careful! Hey, what are you kids doing here? Wait! What's wrong with your friend? Why is he covered in spots? Um, he has pentapox, sir. It's highly contagious. Oh, it's so awful. I'm dying. <sighs> and deadly. I think I've heard of pentapox. Didn't your cousin Chang die of it? We better go wash our hands. And burn our clothes! Wow! Being attacked by sewer-dwelling face suckers was actually helpful. Yes, sir. Pentapox. We saw it ourselves. He was covered with it. Pentapox? I've heard of that. This is serious. Soldier, return to the city and inform the governor immediately. Yes, sir. You, stay here alone and guard this area while I, uh, patrol somewhere far away from here. Make sure no one gets out of the sewers. Uh, yes, sir. I'll just stay here alone with the Pentapox nearby. Please don't. Stop! Who are you? How did you get into our secret resistance camp? We're friends of King Boomy. We have to find him. Is he leading your resistance? Of course not. 
The day the Fire Nation invaded, we were ready to fight for our freedom. But before we even had a chance, King Bumi surrendered. It doesn't matter now. We shall fight to the death without him. You know, there's another alternative. You could leave Omashu without fighting. But there are thousands of us here. How are we going to get them all out? You're all about to come down with a nasty case of pentapox. Pentapox? The marks from a pentapus make you look diseased. If the Fire Nation thought there was a plague amongst the citizens, they would send you all out of the city without a fight. Hmm, it's a good plan. We are going to need lots of supplies, though. And lots of pentapi. The pentapi should be easy. They live under sewer lids around the city. And the supplies will be harder. The only supplies available are stored in the Fire Nation barracks nearby, and it's heavily guarded. Leave it to us. We need to find Boomy, but we have to get everyone out of Omashu first. We'll get the Pentapai and supplies and meet you back here. Look! There's one of those little face suckers now. We have to find a way to get them. We've been infiltrated! Stop the intruders! We gotta keep moving! Here are the supplies and all the Pentapai we need. Thank you. This will be enough. Hey guys, Appa is hidden and happy. What did I miss? We're faking a pentapox outbreak so we can bust all the citizens out. Oh, and Boomy's been imprisoned ever since he surrendered. Whoa, I'd say I missed a lot then. Oh, it's never a dull ride when you're around. The Sokka! Why don't I teach the people to look sick while you help Aang find Boomy? Our intelligence reports King Boomy is being held at the construction site above the palace. Come on, Katara. Let's find my friend. Avatar. Zuko! It's three years to the day since my father banished me. This time you're mine. I will have my honor. Imagine my luck, finding both my brother and the Avatar on the same day. Father will be pleased. Back off, Azula! He's mine! Ranzuko, you cannot win at this time. There are too many. Get the Avatar. I'll take care of my brother. You go yellow, I'll go blue. Oh, fun. They're pretty good. Whatever. <laughs> Wait! Aang! Where are we? Lost. But at least we have each other. Uh, sir! Uh, Governor! We have searched your city from top to bottom. All the Earth Kingdom citizens are in the courtyard, ready for expulsion. Good. My city of Omashu will be best without them. Open the gates and flush them out, but don't touch them! If what I've heard is right, this Petra box is highly contagious and deadly. Boomy! Aang, is that you? Where did you come from? So this is Aang, the mighty Avatar. Governor, is that you? Where did you come from? Quiet, you. Let him go! He's the king of this city! How dare you lock him up! I rule this city now. The king is dead. Long live the king! I'm not dead! Quiet, you! That's it. I'm tired of talking. Guards, destroy them both! You're safe now, Boomy. We're gonna get you out of here, Boomy. <gasps> I don't understand. Why didn't you free yourself? Why did you surrender when Omashi was invaded? What's the matter with you, Boomy? Aang, why don't you wait and listen? I'm waiting. Excellent! Now you've got it! You've always been a quick learner. What are you talking about, Boomy? The key to earthbending is listening and waiting for the right moment to strike. That's why you surrendered, isn't it? Yes, and it's why I can't leave now. <laughs> <laughs>
I guess I need someone else to teach me earthbending. Your teacher will be someone who waits and listens before striking. Okay, Boomy. I'll trust you. Take care, old friend. Yep, yep. <laughs> I know this is gonna sound weird, but I think the swamp is calling to me. Should I land? I don't know. There's something ominous about that place. Yip, yip, up, up! Katara! Mother! I... I miss you, Mom. <laughs> A village, Momo. Perhaps the people there have seen the others. Let's go. Sir, there are only a few women and children in the village. All the men are away fishing. Perfect! Today we will rid the swamp of this filthy waterbender village once and for all. Attack! You look like you could use some help. Jet! Just when I thought things couldn't get worse. It's okay, Katara. I'm on your side. Let's finish these guys and then talk. So what are you doing here, Jet? Have you come to cause trouble for more innocent people? Katara, I've changed. I swear. I, I was a troubled person and I let my anger get out of control. But I've put that all behind me. Why should I trust you? You've lied before. I don't even have the gang now. They're all helping the refugees from the village we flooded. I'm heading to Bossing Se in the Earth Kingdom to start over. We should find the others. Let's start cutting through here. Wait, Sokka. I don't think we should cut anything. This place feels strangely... alive. There's a path. Let's hope the others are on it, too. <laughs> Hey, there's a girl and some sort of flying boar. It's just a trick of the light, or swamp gas. Ugh. We hit our heads when we fell down here. And our imaginations are playing tricks on us. Sokka? Sokka? Sokka. I think the swamp brought us here for a reason. Look! The Fire Nation has been here. And it looks like they use this place as a dump. That waste is polluting the whole area. We've got to help. Yue? No. This is just a swamp trick. It can't be real. Sokka. I miss you. Yue, please. I... Don't go. Katara! Hey guys! Nice of you to show up after the fighting is over. Even Jet beat you here. We did fighting! I'm a warrior! Sheesh! Katara, did you mention Jet? Yes, but he's changed, I think. It's a long story. He's gone to Bossing Se to try and make amends for his past. Well, everyone deserves a second chance. Even Jet. Aang, I'm worried about Appa. Some of the villagers said they saw a big animal flying north. Most of the men went to hunt it. They're going to trap Appa? We have to stop them! They had to get their boats first. We should be able to catch up with them if we leave now. There's a path not far from here which goes in that direction. Come on! Reckons I could have me one of them drumsticks, though? The drumstick's bigger than your whole self, do? We'll eat half each. First, let's catch that big tasty critter. <laughs> Boy, get out of there! <laughs> Hold on, boy! You're a waterbender. Me too. It's how I move the vines. I'm a waterbender too. 
It's an Avatar thing. The Avatar? Hmm, golly, I thought you were with those firebenders in their machine. Are you the Swamp's protector? I guess you could say that, but it's about more than just this swamp. The swamp is all joined. It's one organism, and it shows us that everything else is connected, too. Sometimes it gives visions of the past, the present, and the future. Here, Avatar. Touch it. Feel the whole Earth. <laughs> I think there's trouble headed for Ba Sing Se. Why, Aang? What happened? I'm not sure. But I think we need to go to Gao Ling first. I think I just felt my earthbending teacher's presence. We need to leave this swamp. Sounds good to me. This place gives me the creeps. No offense. None taken. Gives me the creeps, too, sometimes. Appa and Momo should be fine out there. And you guys should be fine finding Aang's earthbending teacher, right? So if you'll excuse me, I'm going shopping for a new bag. See ya! I've known him all his life, and I still don't understand him. Hey, what? you kids like earthbending? You like throwing rocks? Then check out Master Yu's Earthbending Academy. Who knows, Aang? This could be the earthbending teacher you've been looking for. The academy is right ahead. You can't miss it. In my vision, the girl went that way too. Okay, but let's be careful. We've never been here before. Hey, lady! You like throwing rocks? Impossible! Don't take it too hard. We've had a few scuffles in our time. So, I guess you two should start on your free training. You guessed wrong. I said whoever's left standing at the end of the fight, I would trade for free. <laughs> and you are clearly not standing. You cheater! Don't worry, Katara. He's obviously not the teacher I'm looking for. Wait, what's this? That's it. This poster is the same as the one in my vision. My teacher must be there. Earth Rumble 6. Let's go! Ugh. What? Welcome to Earth Rumble 6. I am your host, Shen Fu. Ah! Woo! These guys know how to put the hurt into dirt. Yeah! Woo! I can see this is just going to be a bunch of guys throwing rocks at each other. I'll leave you to it. Woohoo! Some of the contenders have withdrawn from the competition. Do we have two brave souls in the audience with the courage to face our champions? We will. Um, eh? Actually, my boomerang arm is a little sore today. New fighter! Fresh from the Fire Nation, it's Fire Nation Man! My heart fills with pride of joyful fires! Fighters, prepare! Fight! Final round, the moment you've all been waiting for. The newcomers versus your very own champion, the Blind Bandit. To make things a little more interesting, I'm offering up a sack of gold to the newcomers if they do the impossible and manage to defeat the Blind Bandit. What's your real names? Twinkle Toes and Antsy Pants? <laughs> Aang, why are you relaxing? She seems... Dangerously condescending. I've heard that laugh before. She was in my vision in the swamp. I think she's the earthbending teacher we've been looking for. Are you ready to fight, newcomers? Aang, I think you should fight now. Talk later. Or you'll be talking to her fists. Fighters, prepare! Fight! Congratulations! Newcomers win! Bring out the next fighter! Here's a new fighter ready to defend the mighty Earth Kingdom! Tremble for the boulder, little people! Get ready! Fight! Impossible! I mean, we have a winner! Here's your prize! The Earth Rumble Championship Belt! And the bonus sack of gold! Yeah! Blind Bandit, 
More like blind bandage. <laughs> this belt is gonna look great with my new bag. Wait, I think you're meant to be my earthbending teacher. Leave me alone. We need to talk to the blind bandit. Do you know where she lives? The blind bandit's a mystery. She shows up to fight, then disappears. No one knows where she goes or who she really is. Maybe it's because we're asking about the wrong person. In my vision, I saw a girl in a white dress with a pet flying boar. Know anybody like that? Well, a flying boar is the symbol of the Beifong family, who live on an estate just outside of town. They're the richest people in the district. A flying boar is good enough for me. Thanks. Let's check it out. The boulder does not believe the blind bandit could lose to such scrawny kids. She's never lost. I agree. She must have thrown the fight. I'll bet they made a deal to split the prize. Well, nobody cheats Shen Fu. We're going to get that gold back. Come on. Let's find the blind bandit. Just one more step. Yeah! Hi, um, where are we? You're now prisoners of the Gaoling Mercenaries Gang. They are probably going to sell you, or worse. I'm Aang, and this is Sokka. I am an engineer from Ba Sing Se. Do you know Professor Ze? I was supposed to help him with some Fire Nation plans we found. Machine plans. A Fire Nation machine? I saw one in my vision. Where are these plans? Mercenaries captured me and stole them, probably to sell on the black market. I think something bad is going to happen in Ba Sing Se soon. I feel it too. Can you find those plans and show them to Professor Zay? He'd be on his way to the Misty Palms Oasis by now. We'll get those plans to the Professor. But first, we have to find a way out of here. You came back. Did you find those plans? Sure did. And we found your key. Good luck with saving the world. We're all counting on you. Come on, Aang. I'm sorry I beat you in front of all those people. I didn't want to fight you at all. I just wanted to talk. You're the Avatar, aren't you? If it took the Avatar to beat me, that's not so bad. Are you really blind? How do you find your way around? I was born blind, but I see with earthbending. It's kind of like seeing with my feet. I wait and listen to the vibrations in the earth, and I can see where everything is. You wait and listen. That's what Boomy told me. I think you're meant to teach me earthbending. We're being ambushed. You kids owe me. If you want to see your friend again, I suggest you return to the arena with my money before nightfall. <gasps> oh, and just so you know, your loan has accrued interest. You now owe me two bags of gold. <gasps> gonna find another bag of gold before nightfall. What are you talking about? We won't be paying those weaklings anything. I've beaten them before and I'll do it again. <laughs> Come on, boomerang boy. Here's your money. Now let Aang go. Are you stupid? I said two bags of gold. Besides, the deal's off. The Fire Nation will pay ten times that price for the Avatar. Now get out of my ring. Okay. But you'll have to make us. How is this happening? I am the mighty Shen Fu! You're not bad for someone who can't bend. You'd be surprised what you can do with the boomerang. <gasps> We're keeping this. The deal's off. Oh! Hmm. I've discovered.
decided to teach the kid earth bending after all. It seems like he needs all the help he can get. That was great, Boomy. Let's go down the mail chute again. Woo! Aang's training will have to wait for now. We have to find out what these Fire Nation plans mean. We should go to the Misty Palms Oasis and find Professor Zay. Why have we stopped? We need to get to the Misty Palms Oasis. I was hoping I could start learning earthbending today. What move will you teach me first, Toph? Rock Ledge? The Trembler? Sounds like Twinkle Toes is getting antsy. Well, I guess earthbending lessons should take priority. Okay, go learn. Sokka and I will fly to the Oasis. You guys can catch up later. I'm impressed. You've done well. That's it? What about the rock lynch? The Trembler! They're too advanced, Fancy Pants. What's the matter, Toph? Scared them already better than you? Better? Ooh, you're in for it now, Twinkle Toes. I challenge you to a duel. First drop loses. That animal will fetch a good price from the black merchants in Ba Sing Se. Hey! Get away from my bison! This animal belongs to you? How much do you want for it? Appa is not for sale. Now go away! I think you will like our second offer so much less. You haven't seen the last of me, kid! What happened out here? Just a few sandbenders. Nothing we couldn't handle. You're an air nomad? You're Professor Zay? I thought all the air nomads were gone. Are there any more of you? No, I'm the last one. Have you seen the Fire Nation plans? Yes, it looks like something big, but I can't tell what because it's only one part of a set of plans. Now, which of the air temples do you hail from? The Southern Temple. Do you know where we could find the other plans? The Wan Shi Tong Library would be the very best place to look. It has everything. What was the primary agricultural product of your people? Do fruit pies count as agricultural products? Where is this library? Can we go there? Yes, I know the general direction, though no one has been there for many years. Now, have you seen the Northern Air Temple? No. Though I had friends there. When can we leave? Okay. No more Oasis juice for you guys. Shouldn't we be getting to the library or something? Uh, guys? We've got trouble. You'll be back, Avatar. And something tells me we'll meet each other again very soon. That wasn't easy. He's tough. There it is! The Spire of Wan Shi Tong's library! Finally! The building must be buried by the sand. You guys stay down and mind Appa. He's exhausted. Tough and I will find a way up to the window. But I'm not going in. Give me sand over books any day. Toph is going to stay outside with Appa. Reading isn't really her thing. How are we supposed to know what to look for here? Um, maybe we can ask him? Nice, birdie? I am Wan Shi Tong, the knowledge spirit, and this is my library. Humans are not permitted here. What do you have against humans? Humans only bother learning things to get an advantage over other humans. But if you promise to use the information for good, you can stay. If you contribute something of worth to my library. We gain these in our travels. Please accept these items as additions to your library. Hmm, very nice. Enjoy the library, but remember your promise. We better find the rest of the Fire Nation plans. It'll be quicker if we split up. Momo and I will take the levels below here. You guys take the top, and we'll meet up later. That's it! A solar eclipse! The date was right! It's literally the darkest day in Fire Nation history, when firebenders lose their power. If this calendar is right, there's gonna be another eclipse very soon. Come on, Momo, we have to tell the others. On second thoughts, let's get out of here. Run first, talk later. Professor, we found all the plans. Strange. It looks to be a very large and powerful drill machine. 
Though why anyone would want a drill this big is beyond me. A drill? Oh no! I've seen this before in my vision! I think the Fire Nation are gonna try to drill through the walls of Ba Sing Se. If that's true, we have to warn the King. We should leave for Ba Sing Se right away. If we're quick enough, we might be able to find a way to stop the drill before the Fire Nation attack. Humans are so predictable and such terrible liars. You betrayed my trust. No one will ever abuse it again, and you can never leave. Ah! He's sinking the building. We've got to get out of here now. Come on, Professor. I can't. I have spent too long trying to find this place. There's not another collection of knowledge like this on Earth. I'm not leaving. Just go. We don't have time to argue with him. Sorry, Appa. <laughs> Professor Zay didn't want to be saved. He chose to be buried with the knowledge he loved. But we found out about the drill hitting for Bossing Say. And that there's a solar eclipse coming soon. The Fire Nation's in trouble now. Where's Appa? Oh, Aang. I couldn't save him. The library was sinking. You guys were still inside. Sandbender snuck up on me and took him. They took him? What did you do? Where did you take Appa? We... They we're gonna take him to Ba Sing Se. Pet store owners there will pay highly for such a beast. Ah! I think we better get to Ba Sing Se. Fast. The price is more than the animal is worth. Be thankful we pay you at all. The Dai Li will take the Avatar's bison from here. Agents, take it to Lake Lao Gai. Finally! This place is huge! It's good to be in the city after all that walking in the desert. Appa's here. I can feel it. Someone must have seen him. I'm gonna find a printer to make posters and put them up all over the city. Yes, someone must know something. I'll head to the slums and talk to every trader there I can find. We'll meet up with you guys later. Okay, Tom. Next stop, the palace. When the King sees these Fire Nation plans, it'll be all systems go. And we'll finally have a chance in this war. There is no war, and there are no plans. Carry on as you were, citizens. He took the plans! Come on, Toph! I am Long Feng, Grand Secretariat of Ba Sing Se and head of the Dai Li, and believe me, you'd better have a good reason for barging in. We need to speak to the King. We have information that could defeat the Fire Nation. We found out about a solar eclipse that will leave them defenseless. There's also a huge drill heading for the walls of Ba Sing Se right now, and... It is the strict policy of Ba Sing Se that the war not be mentioned within the walls. The Earth King has no time to get involved in political squabbles. The King has to know. You can't keep the truth from everyone. I'll tell them. I'll make sure everyone knows. I see. Perhaps a short vacation will convince you to be more... compliant. Agents, escort our friends to Lake Laogai. I feel ridiculous, Uncle. This city is a prison. I don't want to make a life here. Zuko, life happens wherever you are, whether you like it or not. Our new jobs serving tea are a good start. I know you're Fire Nation, and I'll prove it. Jet, how are things going? What are you doing? 
Katara, I, uh, was thinking of getting a job in this tea room to start my new life. How are things with you? Not so good. We've lost Appa. We think he's being traded somewhere in Ba Sing Se. Wow! That makes sense now. Just this morning I saw a member of the Dai Li with a sack of gold enter that alley. He came out with no sack but a handful of white fur. If only we could budge that door. It looks too heavy for the likes of us. Agreed. It would take a seriously talented earthbender. Luckily, I know one. He might need a little incentive, but it's worth a try. He's not far from here. Let's go. Thanks to you, all the people of this city can now enjoy a refreshing bath. Not just the rich or corrupt. Stuff aside, youngins. Great work, Katara. It was a team effort. Now, about that favor I promised. Good luck, kids! What's going on? Why are you fighting the Dai Li? Ask him. He sold Appa to them. You sold Appa? Where is he? What did you do to him? Where is my bison? It wasn't me. It was my boss. He sold your bison just this morning to Long Fang, leader of the Dai Li. They took him to the same place they take everyone, Lake Lao Gai. Katara, head back to the palace and get the others. Jet, come with me. We're getting Appa. Welcome to Lake Lao Gai, Avatar. And Jet, it's good to see you again. What are you talking about? I've never met you before in my life. Oh, but you have. Don't you remember? No, of course you don't. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, though. The Avatar's girlfriend. I thought they were just friends. Love always blossoms in spring, like the lotus. Zuko! Wait! So, the rumor is true. The city's newest tea makers are Fire Nation spies. Well, let me show you how Ba Sing Se welcome spies. We cannot allow the Dai Li to know our true identities. If we don't stop him, we will be forced to leave the city. Who then will make these good people tea? We don't really want to fight you. We are Fire Nation, it's true. But, as you can see, we just want to live a peaceful life, serving the best tea in Ba Sing Se. Are you sure this is what you really want? Even if I wanted to let you go, old man, I couldn't. Long Feng would soon find out, and Dai Li traders are not treated kindly. The only way out of this is to duel. This is my chance to stop the Avatar from ever flying again. Zuko, we can't hurt such a noble beast, especially when he is so helpless. The only honorable thing to do would be to free him. Don't you agree? There, that is much better. We have done a good thing today, Zuko. Such a noble beast. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Good. Don't worry about me. 
I'm going to be okay. He's lying. I can feel it. The King will have healers who can help Jet. Yes, and we have to tell him about the Fire Nation drill and Longfang's betrayal. I don't care about Bossing Say's rules anymore. We will do whatever we need to get in and see the King. I missed you, boy! I am indebted to you, Avatar. Long Feng has been arrested, and my guards are now clearing the hidden base at Lake Laogai. The Dai Li are finished. There's more to tell you, I'm afraid. The war with the Fire Nation is not going well. Right now, there's a massive drill on its way to Ba Sing Se. If we can't stop it, it will break through the walls, and the Fire Nation will defeat your city just as it defeated Omashu. Show me. There's only one way. We take it down from the inside. Okay, I've checked out the Fire Nation's plans. There are pipes that carry all the slurry, the sludge and rock, from the drill at the front to the outlets at the back. The weakest points of the whole machine are the bracing columns that hold up these pipes. Aang? Yes, Captain, my Captain? You and Katara will need to cut through these braces to weaken the pipes. Gotcha. Momo will then need to find the slurry valve so we can redirect all the pressure backwards. <laughs> And what can I do, besides look adorable? Toph, we'll need your earthbending skills to block the outlets at the back of the drill. This will back up all the pressure to the weakened pipes. I work best under pressure. I'm in. Oh, and one last thing. We probably don't want to be inside the drill for long once we've sabotaged it. Let's get moving. That's the last one. Now it's up to Aang and Katara. Let's get back and help talk. Now that's more like it. Nice work, Boomerang Boy. Well, no point looking at it. Do your earthbending thing. Let's get out of here before it blows. Earth Nation! Stop this! Talk! We'll have to be quiet. This machine is crawling with Fire Nation. I don't know how quiet we can be cutting all these struts. They look much bigger than they did on the plants. Toph told me one of the keys to earthbending was not to use all your energy on a single task. Maybe we should do that with the columns. We shouldn't have to destroy all of them. Well, let's get started. That close one looks good. Ready for some team water bending? Seems you'll get your fight after all. Come with me. Egg! We did it! I don't know, Katara. I've got a bad feeling that things are gonna... Get a whole lot worse! Run! You've had enough fun for one day. I'm afraid you're going to have to sit back and enjoy the ride into Bossy Sun. That is, if you live on us. You can't win, Azula. And can Earthbend now. You don't have what it takes to defeat the both of us. I've got some tricks up my sleeve, Water Baby. Questions? Hmm, I'm impressed, Avatar. Your fighting has improved since I last saw you. Wouldn't you agree, Prince Zuko? Zuko! I thought you had changed! My brother is a lot of things, but he is not a traitor. What is friendship when he can have both his honor and our father's love? Zuko, play with the nice people. I want to prepare something special. Zuko, there's good inside you. I know it! Zuko, take care of them.
anyone need a ride? Thank you, Avatar. Without your help, our city would have fallen. We are in your debt. We were happy to help. I only hope it was in time. We won a victory today, but we have been inactive for too long. As long as this war continues, the Fire Nation will continue attacking. They will never stop. But we know about the upcoming Eclipse, when they will be powerless for a day. We know their weakness. Yes, there is hope. And now that I'm a Master Waterbender and a Master Earthbender, I think we'll all be just fine. I was kidding. I got my eye on you, Tinker <laughs> Come on, brother. This isn't over yet. Fire Nation does not suffer indignation lightly. The world will pay dearly. <laughs> <laughs>